economy saw a record drop in gross domestic product or GDP last quarter, officially putting the country into a recession. Now, this news comes as Montana's top economists are revising their predictions for the future. MTN's Zach Shermley has more on how the fallout is hitting home. An economy ablaze. U.S. GDP down 33 percent. Here in Great Falls, financial uncertainty looms for small business owners like Aaron Weissman, who opened Teriyaki Madness just three years ago. I have absolutely no idea what is going to happen tomorrow or next week, let alone next quarter. This has been the most the hardest to predict series of economic events of my lifetime. All I can do is make the best chicken we can at the best price we can and give the best customer service we can and approach every day one day at a time. When Wiseman first opened his doors, a much rosier outlook for the local economy and the state. As wages increased by 20 percent, Cascade County's GDP grew by 7.4 percent in 2018. Stability and steady growth have been hallmarks of the Great Falls economy for decades, but economists tell me that's not likely to continue. Economists now revising their forecasts, projecting in May as many as 75,000 jobs lost in Montana. That forecast is likely to be wrong in the sense that conditions are changing very rapidly and, and so whatever assumptions you made are going to be different. But the upside is at least it does provide some sort of order of magnitude sense of the challenge that Montanans will face uh, from an economic perspective. The numbers show job losses in the healthcare, restaurant, trade, tourism, and manufacturing industries, all pillars of the Golden Triangle's economy. Overall, I think we've done better than the national average. Uh, keep in mind, we've been fighting uh, low agricultural and energy prices for, for years. Tourism is certainly taking a, a, a large hit, uh, as is a, a number of, of restaurants and bars. Uh, so it has hit each company differently. How the Great Falls economy will weather the recession remains, like so many things, uncertain. But Dooney says there are little steps everyone can take to work towards an economic recovery. Uh, we've got to take care of, of Great Falls. We have to take care of all the communities in the Golden Triangle. And there are things that we can do, practice social distancing, uh, wear a mask. Um, they're very common sense. They're very low cost and uh, we're largely in control. In Great Falls, Zach Shermley, MTN News.